Vince Nice Neck. Really? I've got any, I can't even go there. Alright then. Alright, no problem then. Top walk. Um, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. As you know, this is my first press conference, so go easy on me. Um, as such, I thought that I'd give myself a break and what I mean by that is I won't take any questions but I'll give you my blow by blow account of the match what went right and what went wrong and at the very end um, I'll answer I, I don't know one question or something we'll see how it goes anyway never mind so just to <clears throat> just to start off with like um, I'd like to say that Overall, the condition of the pitch was good. The grass was very, very soft. Um, and that meant that when we fell, or when we were tackled, it was very comfortable, which was nice. That was a nice touch that I enjoyed, personally. Um, and I think my other teammates enjoyed it too. Um, big shout out to Jonesy, our eight man. He head of the pack today, really went out there and um, fought hard for our team. The possession just wasn't there, but the drive was, and I really want to um, congratulate him on a good match, a good play from Jonesy, number eight. The match itself, we were very strong at the start. Um, I think that we were doing very well. We had a good couple of conversions from tries early on and when we were ever out of the scrum it was really hard we were very very strong straight from scrum and that was like um pretty good to be honest with you um so i was very pleased with that and as i said jonesy was a really really good sport today he worked very hard um and to be honest with you like after that first half um it became a game of chess to be honest it was the, the picking the pieces and putting them in the right place you know so that's where our strategy sort of started to fall apart really and you know in the team we don't really play the blame game you know it's not about who did what or who didn't do anything or whatever it's about how we worked together as a team and you've heard that um, some of us have had our problems in the build up to the match um, but uh, we all overcame those problems for today and while it didn't really pay off overall I think that um, internally there was a great growth for the team that will start to pay dividends by the next season so look out because we'll be coming back but um, like I said the main problem that we faced at today's match was initially the possession of the ball and the team really rallied together to try to sort that out but um, it didn't really happen so we had those three tries with a couple of conversions from it but then in the second half it was just absolutely no possession whatsoever which is what let the side down and like I said, it was about putting the right person in the right place. And unfortunately, um, the, there was no one in the right place. And I don't think that we actually had the right person to begin with, to be honest with you. I mean, I certainly wasn't the right person. But like I say, it's not really what it's about. It's about really, you know, congratulating the team on what they did and just moving on from there and trying to improve by the next by the next game. But um, yeah, I, I honestly don't know where I was. I was in a dream world on that pitch today um, I think that to be honest with you my mind was elsewhere I was thinking about something else you know that's often the case with me though you know my head's a bit um, up in the clouds but like I said we are those uh, out of the scrums like uh, bats out of hell but not really you didn't really want to be bats, you know, you wanted to be more like lions or something, like lions out of a cage or something like that, rather than bats, which, are, you know, they fly. But they're mammals, aren't they, I believe. I'm no scientist, like, but um, I understand that I think they might be mammals. They're mammals. Who knows? 
So there were we, you know, a bunch of bats playing against the team of lions, and uh, it wasn't against England, incidentally. So don't make any funny, funny jokes about that. But um, the most important thing that I think we learned today was that teamwork can make um, can stop nightmares teamwork can stop nightmares so if you band together you know we we few we happy few then you can do anything you know you stop the nightmares or make a dream I suppose would be a better way of saying it but But overall, very pleased with the team dynamic. I think that we've got everyone in the right place, which I know I said wasn't, that was the issue to begin with in the second half. But um, that's because everyone moved around. We all got a little bit confused because we did have a couple of lagers and it didn't help, to be honest with you. I think for future games what we'll do is we'll try to avoid mid-match drinks because it's a tradition in the team but um, I don't really think that it ended up helping anybody you know but anyway the, the point is though that like um, we try our best every time we hit the green every time we hit the grass and we try our best for our fans, you know, so I have to thank them as well for being so supportive of what we do as a team. And not only that, but who we are as people, you know, um, we're, an, we're an adapting organic machine, you know, and machines need to be fed plant food or whatever machines eat or oil, maybe oil and plant food to be organic m machine. <laughs> cyborg I guess you'd call it but um, the most important thing that we learnt is that machine eats plant food <laughs> it's fed with oil but is oiled with blood and sweat so it's a machine that's organic so it eats plant food or meat which has blood in it and animals sweat so we could eat bats. If we were a team of bats, that machine, that organic cyborg machine that we are, eats the bats, and bats have blood and sweat. So it eats those and their food. So then all we need is the oil. And you know what, if we cooked the bats first, rare, in its own juice, so get a frying pan. We'll be cooking away like, and pop a bat in, fry it, I um, put a bit of butter in or, you know, go, go all rams or put olive oil in it, whatever you want. Or, you know, do it in the property ping, like, you know, microwave, property ping. But you do that and then it's just out in a second. Then you just get some oil or something and then you mix it up a bit and um, serve that and you feed that to the cyborg team that is made of plant and then that's how you stop the nightmares. <laughs> well, I lost my train of thought back there, I think. Well, what I would say though, is that actually, I mean, did, did we lose? I sort of lost track of myself for a minute there. Did we actually lose the game? We did. All right. Now, you can't have a try without trying. So, you know, the last thing we need to do as a team is give up on ourselves. And we can do that by um, basically trying. I mean, not giving up, you know, we try, um, you agree. So um, that's what we really need to do next time. Try, 
and score a try as well and not just rolled around on the grass you know <laughs> anyway um, I think that I have taken up more than enough of your time press so any questions yes so are you actually a member of the Welsh team oh no I'm not actually a member of the team no I just wear the top I think that'll be all Thank you very much. Bye-bye.